This is uh, just a quick disassembly for um, the Maytag Centennial, uh, mainly because it took me a long time to find anybody else's videos up here for this guy, so this is how it goes. Um, apparently there's some clips under there that you can get rid of with a uh, putty knife, something like that, shove it under this way on both sides. But I need to get the top off because what's going on in here is it's cockeyed and when it moves it bangs all around. So something is off in there, something's wrong with the suspension. So I've already gone ahead a little bit and done some of these things, so I'm going to make it fast so you don't have to sit through a 31 minute video like I did. Basically, close that up. Make sure you have some duct tape. Duct tape this guy closed because you're going to lift this top up and it's going to want to flop open. What you want to do is in the back here, you want to remove the top screw from that clip right there. You're going to want to remove the screw that covers this little wiring cover thing. And then over on the other side over there, there's another one of those. See that clip? That's the other one you're going to want to remove. Once you've got those out, then unlike some of the videos which say to pull it forward, on this one, let me get the tape out of the way, you're actually going to slide it back. And if you slide it back properly, you'll wind up like this and you can get into the guts of it. And then if you are really, really lucky, as it looks like I have been, you will find that the reason that this thing is sitting cockeyed in there isn't because anything's broken, but see those little supports? There's one there, and there's one there, there's one there, and oh, where's that one? There it is. I have a feeling what happened is the load got unbalanced and it just knocked the support off of its little uh, anchor point there. So I am going to uh, take this and hey, look at that. And I'm going to attempt to lift this back up. <laughs> Not done yet. Yes, I'm going to attempt to lift this back up. There's some water residual in there. Um, but once I get this in there, it should be good. I'm not sure if that mount is broken or not. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it just got chewed a little bit uh, in there. So I'm gonna rehook that to that mount so that it looks like that and life will be good. Very simple fix, cost me absolutely nothing except uh, a very unpleasant half hour trying to slog through some videos that really could have answered the whole question in uh, just a couple minutes. Thanks very much, hope you enjoyed this, hope it was useful to you. Bye.